Okay, so you've got your hamster in the little cup house thing, and you're just going to set them down on the pillow or blanket, and they're hopefully going to crawl out like that. Then just set the house down, and the last thing to do is you're going to get into the bathtub. Make sure you have your treats on hand. So you're just going to step into the bathtub, make sure you don't step on your hamster. Obviously they'll be running around, but I'm using a fake hamster, so obviously this hamster isn't. Now your hamster will probably be scared because they're in a new environment. So they'll be like, ah, and they'll most likely go into their house. So into their house, oh my gosh, like that. And um, what you're going to do is the reason why you have um, your long pants on, your gloves, your socks, your sweatshirt is because um, your hamster won't be able to bite you. So obviously it, hamsters bite aren't that like strong. So obviously it most likely won't break the skin if you're wearing like pants like this. And gloves these gloves are a bit thin but if you put like three or two layers of gloves on it obviously won't hurt i'm just wearing a skinny um sweatshirt but you can wear like those heavy duty ones to ensure that you won't get bit in case you are a little bit timid so what you're going to do now is you're just going to put your hand near your hamster and they're just going to like sniff it so i'm going to take stardust out of there and they're just gonna like sniff it they might um bite you it is a possibility they might bite you but if you washed your hands and you have your gloves on they most likely won't bite you they might just sniff you and run away like that obviously they won't get thrown but they sniff you and run away or they may become curious and climb onto your hand so they might climb onto your hand like this. Um, if your hamster, like, you, you just want to, like, put your hand near them. Just, like, they'll be running around and stuff. So run, run, run. And then, like, if they're over here, just, like, put your hand near them and let them smell you. Just do that for a couple of days just so they get used to what your hand is. Um, they might already be used to a hand because, um when you are showing them your hand and then petting them they might be used to your hand so you may already be on the step where they climb into your hand but if you aren't it's okay taming doesn't happen in two days so it's okay so after they get used to smelling your hand and running away it's okay um what you can do is you can open your treats and you should put your hand near your hamster with the tree in the center and your hamster will hopefully climb onto your hand and eat the tree or they'll grab the tree and run away if they do that that's a huge step for um, your hamster when you're taming your hamster you want to be confident um, the more confident you are um, I mean the more confident your hamster becomes the more confident you'll become so um, once your hamster will um, eat the treat, just take another one and put it on your hand. Eventually, um, you, your hamster will sit on your hand and eat it. If they do that, so if they sit on your hand and eat it, so it's eating on my hand, you can just slowly lift them up off the ground like this and then sit them, just like slowly lift them off the ground. Um, just like this and then set them back down and your hamster will run away Then just take another treat in your hand and then they'll eat it on your hand and lift them up Just do that like a couple of times Obviously you wouldn't do all of this in one day. It takes a couple of days Because um, each hamster is different. Sometimes you'll get a really really friendly hamster like Holly But you'll sometimes get a really skittish hamster like Stardust so just be patient and gentle and be very calm when you're doing this. You just wanna, so like they're eating, took the treat, they're eating in your hand. And after a while, just 
pick them up while they're eating and set them on your lap like this and your hamster may get scared and jump that is why you should have you should be sitting closer to where your um, pillow is it's just kind of this bathtub is really really small and it gets wider and then skinnier so my, I'm already sitting like cramped like this if I sat right there I'd be like this so um, you want to be sitting near that in case your hamster jumps they'll land safe on here so you just want to pick them up and let them like walk around on your lap and explore obviously you're wearing your pants so they can't bite you and then um, over time you're just going to slowly take off one piece of clothing at a time so your hamster is going to be eating the thing and picking it up so I'd say after like two to three days take off one article of clothing so that could be um, your socks you could take off like one layer of socks because I have two layers on and then after two to three days you could take off your sweatshirt and then you can take off like your pants and your gloves until finally you're just in your um, t-shirt and shorts and your hamster will be fully comfortable with you so you just kind of want to like eventually your hamster will be able to climb onto your hand without a treat and you'll be able to pick them up and just set it on your lap like this so then um, once your hamster kind of gets used to your scent and like they're so totally used to you getting picked up, um, you can hold your hamster. So um, I don't really need to show you how to hold it, but basically you just go like one hand and other hand, one hand, the other hand. Um, I have a video on how to hold your hamster, so it's like not that difficult. So, um... If this video was really, really bad, because I'm not using a real hamster, um, I'm really, really sorry. You should do this taming process, like, once to twice a day. You don't have to do it, like, every single day, but, um, you should try and do it at least once a day. But if you do end up being busy or something, it's okay. Um, also, if you don't have a bathtub, you can use, um, a little drawer. Or you can just use your hamster cage, like you can just take out all the toys and stuff and um, it, your hamster may feel a little bit more comfortable than being in a bathtub. But I suggest being in a bathtub because you can actually sit down with your hamster. So yeah. Also you should only like give your hamster a treat, so like if you're using sunflower seeds, you should obviously only give them like three or four a day because sunflower seeds are a bit fattening. So you could use like vegetables it might be a little bit easier um because with some flower seeds your hamsters can get fat so you don't want that to happen so yeah just a hint also remember to be patient with your hamster and be confident your hamster won't get tamed in the matter of two days this can be taming process can happen from like two weeks to a month Sometimes hamsters don't even become tame in, during a year. So you just have to be really patient and you just have to keep trying. Just don't give up. Eventually your hamster will get used to you. They may not get as tame as Holly is, but they could get as tame as Stardust, which is, a ve which is very good because Stardust isn't as tame as Holly, but she's still pretty tame and really sweet and nice. So again, be patient and be confident and hopefully you'll have a tame hamster but um i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you have any questions on the taming process please comment below and yeah so thanks for watching comment rate and subscribe bye